Hey everyone, what's going on? Brad here from Preeminent Practice. And this week, I'm going to be covering the three key foundations to have in place in order for you to scale and grow your practice or clinic. Now, these are the same processes that I've been using in my clinics over the past 15 years and been installing in over 300 health practitioners uh, across the world. So to really be successful here at generating new patients, growing and scaling your practice, you really need three key foundational systems. Number one is an attraction system. You've got to be able to recognize and connect with a specifically targeted group of prospects. For example, um, men and women 40 plus with chronic low back pain who are also athletic. And you need to be able to generate enough value and interest within that group in what I call in marketing the gap so that these people are going to want to take action and opt in or contact you, call you, whatever you want them to do as the next step to get help in solving those problems. The next system is your conversion system. You need to have a way to turn in that specific group of targeted prospects from interested into your services uh, and, and wondering what you're doing, that kind of thing, and actually getting them into plans of care where they're going to get results and actually get the transformation uh, that you're, you're speaking about in your marketing and what your services ultimately do. Now, this may happen through uh, what we call a triage call, uh, a walk-in. It could be someone through one of our automated follow-up sequences. Um, but the fact of the matter is we need to be able to make sure that people are constantly moving from one step to the next. Now, if you don't have a sales or conversion system set up across the board, then what you're going to have is you're going to have a large inflow of people coming in but if, for example, you don't have the uh, follow-up sequence, then you're going to have people who come in and if they don't buy or they don't get into a plan of care, nothing really happens past that point, which means you're going to be spending more money on marketing. It's going to be less uh, efficient as a business overall. So essentially, your conversion process allows your prospects to flow through each one of the stages of your patient journey, which is going to make, uh, give you more plans of care, making sure people don't drop off and that kind of thing. And the last third system, which is one of the most important, but least focused on, is your retention system. So this is a way to keep your current patients engaged with your services. Um, throughout your patient success journey, you're really building tremendous value, which is going to create these transformations and people getting great results um, throughout your throughout your services and plans of care that you're doing. So what we're really trying to get is these current patients to become advocates for your business. Because if a person is going through a full plan of care, they're getting the results, they're going to be able to share those results with other people, which means you're going to generate referrals, which is going to decrease your acquisition costs for patients. It helps you grow organically. It's a lot better to deal with referrals, uh, less expensive, all that kind of stuff. And the other thing is, is that chances are you also are offering maybe one or two services but a lot of practitioners I talk to don't run like a maintenance plan of care, which is a critical component to having better care overall for the patient in most scenarios. And it's going to allow yourself or practitioners, if you have them, to have a more steady schedule. Um, around like 50% or, or so, 40, 50% of revenue, depending on the clinic, actually comes from a uh, recurring revenue from these maintenance plans of care, which means we need less patients overall it's less expensive and it's a hyper profitable model. So the advantage really to retaining people is you're really reselling them in your current patient base on generating referrals, getting them into like plan of care if it's appropriate for them and building more value. That means they're gonna get better results, um, which means you're gonna have less spend in terms of uh, advertising and a better ROI. Um, so those are really the three critical key elements that your health practice clinic really needs to have in order to make sure that you're going to convert more patients that are coming in inquiring and being able to retain them longer into your process. Uh, in the next videos, I'm going to go a little bit more detail about the specifics of each one of these and how they work. So if you have any questions on this, you can comment below or reach out to us. Love to have a conversation. Thanks.